The Shore Sisters Farm Market and Cafe here in Bradford County is a great stop. You can pick up farm fresh produce, have a bite and a drink at the cafe, and best of all, you can do some incredible shopping. Well, this is Rachel Daniel, and she is one of the Shore Sisters, and Rachel, we're in this beautiful greenhouse, and you're going to prepare something for us, because of course there is a cafe here. So what are we making? We're going to make a harvest pulled pork pizza. <gasps> so it's got lots of roasted veggies, and it's super simple. So it's a great weeknight meal. You can take it to a football party. You had me at it's a real simple meal. <laughs> All right, so let's get started. All right, so we're going to take our naan bread. You mm -hmm. could use really whatever, but we like this. It's got a good flavor and it's easy. And then we're going to layer on some cheese. Okay. So I'm starting with provolone, mm -hmm. just because I like it, yep. but you can use whatever you okay. want. Swiss would be good. Yep. We're going to top it off with mozzarella because it's pizza. Yeah. Okay. So this is the super easy part, is that we have pulled pork from Callier's Restaurant in Athens, Pennsylvania, that comes already packaged and cooked. So okay. you can grab it, put it on your sandwiches. We're putting it on our pizza. Okay. So again, know who you're cooking for. So if you are cooking for someone who likes a lot of meat, mm -hmm. like your husband, boyfriend, pile it on. If you don't like it, leave it off. Right? right, right. So we've got our pulled pork, and then we're gonna put some kale. And so I have roasted, caramelized some oh. red onions, is what I've got going on here. Okay. So I just stuck these in the oven with some olive oil. I put aluminum foil on them, roasted them until they were done. You can fry them up in your pan if you yes. want. So then we're gonna do del cotta. Now this one is fun. It's a squash that you can eat the skin. So it's this guy is what it looks oh, like before it's okay. cooked. And what I like to do with these is I stick them in the oven whole for like 15 minutes at 350, and then they're not so hard to cut. And I yes. do that with all my squash, butternut, okay. pumpkin, whatever, spaghetti, just because then I'm not killing my arm as I'm trying to cut it. Right. So once it's soft, I then cut it up, take the seeds out, all of that good stuff, and then I coat it with more olive oil and stick it back in at like 400 for 10, 12 minutes, just to get the nice golden color. They're actually, color. they're beautiful, aren't they? They, they are look fun. good. They are fun. Now, um, I think that's such a good idea that you're using the vegetables that are available right now. Yeah, so you can mix it up. You can use butternut squash, sweet potato, whatever you have on hand. Leave it off if you don't like it, but once you roast them, they're a better vegetable. Okay. <laughs> I don't like squash, but I like it roasted. <laughs> and then just top it off with some mozzarella. Again, you could use Colby, Swiss. Again, whatever you have in your fridge and whatever you like. And then that's it. Put it in the oven at 400 for eight minutes or on the grill. Grill it low and then it's it's got the nice smoky flavor. Okay. Once it comes out, I'm gonna drizzle some more barbecue sauce right on the top. And again, if you like a lot of it, you could start it as your base. If you don't like it, leave it off. Rachel, thank you so much for showing us how to make these delicious pizzas. You are welcome. Now everything here, the best part is you can pick it up right at the market. Yes, everything from the fresh produce to the barbecue sauce to the pulled pork in the freezer. Super simple. Tell everybody about the market because you have a lot of items here. Yeah, so we have a farmer's market with fresh produce. We try to keep produce so that we can all year round. The building is really open, so we also have a cafe. So we have fresh cookies, fresh cupcakes that we bake here. And Rachel, we have the two lovely ladies uh, with some drinks here. Yes, Hello. Jen has a macchiato. This is the one that you get when you need that extra get up and go. It's got two shots of espresso, and you can make it flavored caramel, pumpkin, whatever you want. Nice. And Kyrie has the salted Thank caramel you. pumpkin latte with cold foam on the top. Beautiful. So again, we like our fall flavors. So we're going to do a couple different pumpkin drinks this fall. Excellent. Thank you so much, ladies. Thank Thanks. Super. Well, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for sharing the recipe and these delicious drinks with us. We appreciate it. You're welcome. And Shore Sisters still has more to offer, right? Yes, we have a huge greenhouse, and Sue is often found in there putting planters together, taking this and that, and I think she's ready to show you one now. Great, well, we will meet up with her next. Great. Thanks again. Thank you.